and dumps. That's wrong. Murph, we should do something today. What should we do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Maybe see a movie? Yeah. But what, Murph? But what? There's a lot of good ones out right you now. You should know. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones out right now. Not that Star Trek. Yeah, Murph, I do not want to see that CGI filled crap. Not that it looks bad or anything, but... I don't want to see it. Hello, boys. William Shatner here, and I'm very glad to hear that you don't want to see that goddamn Star Trek abomination. Those sons of bitches didn't even give me a goddamn fucking cameo! I can't tell you how proud I am to know that you two support me, and you won't see that atrocious film. When I found out that Leonard Nimoy had a cameo, more than a cameo, a big scene, and I didn't get jack shit, you don't know how I felt. And to know that you two boys are the two people, the two people who support me, who won't see that film, you don't know how I feel. <sighs> I'd have sex with you if I could. Well, just kidding about the last part. I like women. Well, what I wanted to say was, in many ways, they shat on the Shatner. Yes, William Shatner was shat on by the new Star Trek film. J.J. Abram is a sphincter. He should have given me a part in the film. I'm William Shatner. There is no other Shatner. You can't sh on the Shatner. You can't sh on the Shatner. I've been sh on for years by everyone. People make fun of me. My wigs, my toupees, my erection difficulties. Everyone shits on the Shatner, but not you, not you, not Don and Murph. Thank you. Hey Murph, I have an idea. What? Let's see Star Trek. Let's go. Come on, come on. What? Not you. Not you. You were the two. You were supposed to be the two who supported William Jefferson Shatner. You were supposed to support me. <sighs> Hello? William, Leonard Nimoy here. You shouldn't be bothering those two boys. Please don't be jealous that you didn't make your way into the film, and unfortunately for you, for you I have. And you also shouldn't take it out on others that I can still get women, and you, unfortunately, have to pay for them. Oh, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the audience in Star Trek Two. Leonard, you can eat Duke. You can eat Duke, Leonard. You can eat Duke. Eat Duke. The Don Murph Star Trek movie review. Yeah. Murph, I'm cutting forks like beef smellers. I know. Right? Man, they smell like eggs. Ooh, it stinks. Well, we went to see Star Trek because William Shatner said not to, so we wanted to be rebels. Oh, yeah, I know. He was a little reverse psychology, really. Was he wearing a toupee, Murph? Looked real to me. It did? Well, I mean, listen, I think it looked real. It looked like he was just sort of propped there, Murph. Well, I don't know if I would know the difference with that kind of stuff. No, probably not. 
You're pretty stupid, Murph. Now, what, what, what should we say? Let's talk about what Star Trek's about for the geeks that don't know. Well, wait a minute. The geeks would know what it's about. The people that aren't geeks would know, you know. Class A citizens. Yeah, like me. Well, basically, the movie starts out with a captain on a ship getting killed by the hawk. And if you're wondering what I mean, I mean the hawk. The hawk? The guy who's the hawk. He's like, your mate can be really angry. Oh, you mean the incredible? You don't want to see me when I'm angry. The incredible, I mean the real incredible hawk, not Ed Norton. He... Yeah, Eric Banana. Eric Banana. Eric Banana. I'm Australian, I'm Eric Banana. I'm Australian. Don't get in my way. I'm the hawk in the one that nobody likes. Don't get in my way. But that was the good one. The second one's the one that Murph, was really good. Murph, Eric Banner doesn't get paid, Murph. Why? He lost so much money with that hawk movie, he pays the studios. Lost money? That movie made money. No, Murph, that was a flop. He had to pay to be in this. Two quarter million. That's wrong. He did, Murph. He lost so much for him. But the movie is about that, and then that captain dies in the beginning, and then it's years later with that captain's son going to space on a ship. Yeah. That was it. That, there was more than that. That's all I noticed was a ship. I mean, Murphy was just a movie on a ship. Well, there was more than that. There was, there was Planet Earth, Planet Vulcan, there was... You know, the, the SS Enterprise, there was what a ship... What the fuck are you talking about? It was all these ships. I, I, I just noticed ships. Yeah, well, more ship, than, ships. More than one. That was it. What the hell's a movie on a ship? Movies don't take place on ships, Murph. Movies don't Can take place... Can be stocking? That was a ship of a boat. This was a ship in space. People can't go into space, Murph. That's bullshit. We landed on the moon! Murph, that was CGI. That was like in the 70s. There was no CGI back then. Murph, all those nerds at school told me it was CGI. Well, Star Trek was, yes. No, Murph, everything was CGI. There was CGI in the 40s. CGI didn't come out until like the 90s. Computer graphenated images. Yeah. The 40s. The Three Stooges used it all the time. Remember those scenes when they're driving and there's an image behind them? That's CGI. Well, that's just him in front of a screen. No, Murph, that's CGI! I know! Oh. Jesus. Okay. So basically... Alright. The movie's about... CGI came out in the 90s. Whatever, Murph. And then it's the CGI. The moon lighting was real. Okay, Murph, whatever. Tell it to those people I went at school, Murph. And then, on the ships, there's Leonard Nimoy, the one with the ears, Lohera, and Genghis Khan or something, Murph. Then there's that one guy who's like, good one. He's a good one. He's a He's a good one. That one, Murph. And then they fight, you know, the hawk, Eric Banana. The real hawk. Yeah. And that's the movie. Well, then they save the ship and they go on many other adventures at the end. Soon to come in the second Star Trek. And I think, Murph, this is a prequel to the old shows. So you know they're going to live. Of course. Star Treks don't die, Murph. They multiply. Yeah. Like BB's kids. Yeah. We don't die, we multiply. What? How do you think they made so many of those damn movies, Murph? They won't end. Those Star Trek movies are like semen. They just keep happening and coming and coming. Murph, I'm kind of hot. Aren't you? I guess. Do you think people should see this movie? I recommend it. And it's right, definitely a theater film. I recommend seeing it in theaters and I give it five out of five stars. I think I'd rather just get on a ship. Okay. A boat. 
and, and be on ship. On a spaceship? And then, you know, because ships don't exist. We have Murphy, there is each time. We have, like, rockets. NASA makes all these rockets. Murphy, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm leaving. Once again, he doesn't know what he's talking that about. That movie was all sham. It was all CGI. There's no such thing as space. Space is CGI. Murph, when I look up, I see nothing. Oh, yeah? Well, then where did we get all those photos of the Earth from? Those are CGI, too. They're fake. One day, he's just going to kill over from not knowing anything. Well, <clears throat> five out of five stars. If you have to see in theaters, there was nothing wrong with it. It was flawless. It was outstanding. Go ahead and see it. You'll enjoy it. And if you don't like it, then I don't know what's wrong with you. So, catch you next time. Beam us up, Scotty! Hmm.